I'm going on holiday tomorrow. I am actually so excited. Like, it feels like I've not been away in ages. It's been quite last minute though, to be honest. I got an email like two weeks ago from Ryanair about a sale of flights. And I was like, you know what? Just see what countries you can get to for cheap. And then when I was looking at the list, I decided that it actually would be really fun. So I booked flights to Budapest. I'm going with my boyfriend, which I actually think is gonna be really fun. Also, I feel like you've never really met him before. So you are actually gonna have the chance to meet him finally. Anyway, I'm actually quite scared because I have booked everything, like literally everything. And this was the first holiday that I've ever booked. So if something goes wrong, it is all my fault, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Like I've done the flights and the accommodation. I was so excited the day I booked the flights that I spent all day looking for an apartment. I found one that actually looked pretty nice. The one thing I haven't done is figured out how we're getting from the airport to the place we're staying. I'm thinking we can just like hop on a bus or something. I don't really know. I'm sure we'll figure out when we get there. But anyway, I need to pack now because my little sister's getting here in like an hour to go out for dinner and I haven't actually packed. Right, I've finished packing. This is like the bag with all my clothes in. I've managed to squeeze it all into a rucksack. And then he's kind of filled the bag we're meant to be sharing, to be honest, but whatever, it's fine. I'm probably gonna just have to fill his rucksack with the other stuff I need. I'll see you really, really early in the morning because our flight is so early. So we're gonna have to leave really early to get to Stansted, but whatever, I'll see you in the morning. Uh. We're all through security and we've done the classic airport Starbucks. I've literally not been allowing myself Starbucks in London because I've got a Pret subscription, so I just can't justify it. Michael's kind of working his way around the restaurants trying out all the Christmas food. I decided not to do that and just got my classic yogurt pot, which is kind of boring of me, but oh well. What about that? It's Christmas Day. The place is actually really, really nice. Let me talk about the journey though. So we got here all fine and then got to the airport and I was like, okay, right, time to take a bus. I thought it was just gonna be like a London bus, you know, where you can pay on the bus, get on. And they're like, no, you need a ticket. So we missed the bus, had to go get a ticket and literally had to wait for half an hour for the next one. But oh well, we're here now. And the place is really, really nice. Like I have fully pulled through, do you not think? It's, it is good. Let me do a quick apartment tour before we go out. Right, so you walk in and you've just got boring stuff like loo and bathroom. And then here's the bedroom, which is actually pretty nice. One problem is we don't actually have a cupboard, so we're having to live out the suitcase. Now, I don't know how much we're gonna be using this, but still, like, the whole thing looks quite nice. And I didn't actually know we were getting a whole TV room and a balcony. Like, look how cool this is. I mean, the view is not the best, but like, still. Anyway, plan for today is I think we're gonna go out and just like, I don't know, have a wonder about the city, to be honest. Maybe stop at a cafe. And then at seven, we've actually got a boat tour. I booked this river cruise down the, how do you pronounce it? Danube. 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 That river, the river in Budapest, um, which is gonna be really fun. And then, I don't know, we might go out for dinner. Don't really know what the plan is. Hot, really hot. Mmm, that's good. We're currently walking through this like weekend market thing, which is actually really nice. We just went for lunch, even though it's like half four. It was actually really delicious. It was this thing where they basically do everything, like Mexican pizza, burgers. So I obviously got tomato pasta. I am actually in heaven, look. just been into this like sweet shop it also does like loads of dried fruit so we got all these random dried fruit what's that one is that like an orange or is that a sweet, is sweet? like look at this it's a dried kiwi i've never seen a dried kiwi mm. this is so cool but cold look really 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 cold but look so pretty! I've actually had a really fun evening to be honest. That boat trip was so much fun. If you're ever in Budapest, definitely go on it. Because also I think it was seven pounds each, which I don't think is that bad because it was an hour and we got to see so much. And then afterwards I was really, really craving sushi. So we were just gonna find like a little sushi place and ended up in a really nice restaurant. So that was fun. But anyway, plan for the rest of the evening is just to watch Chalet Girl and go to bed because we are both so tired. Like we've been out since five and I always find traveling is just really, really draining. But I'll see you in the morning. Morning. We've literally just woken up and we're going to this cereal cafe, which 
I am genuinely so excited for. There was one in London called the Serial Killer Cafe and it shut down. And the day I found out it shut down, I was nearly in tears. So when I found out they had this thing called Serial Beast here, I like literally died. Ugh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. <sighs> We're now on like a tourist mission to go to like the castle and the fisherman's bastion. I think that's how you pronounce it. The train bridge, which is that one there, it's like the most famous bridge, and it's closed, so we can't walk across it. Oh wow, this bridge is so pretty cool. Our tourist afternoon is actually going really well. We've not gone in anywhere, but we're kind of just walking around. And this place is quite pretty. Look at all the buildings. They're all, what would you call them? Buildings. No. Sites. No, but they're like concrete and like pointy and I don't know. It just looks very um, royal, regal. <laughs> He's got raspberry sauce with fruit and bacon and sausage. Mm. <laughs> I'm about to go out again. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but I've just decided that there is no point getting changed because it is so Arctic outside. Like this country is cold. So I'd just rather stay warm and comfortable. Let me tell you about our day actually. So we kind of just decided to be a bit touristy today. Go to like all the, you know, places you should visit when you're here. And it was actually really fun. We bought postcards because, you know, why not? I always do when I'm on holiday and both left them somewhere like we can't work it out we had our own separate postcards and just put them down and i have no idea where they are but now yeah we're going out for drinks we're going to this ruin bar you know that quite green place that looks a bit all over the place where the farmer's market was earlier we're going back there and there's like a bar apparently it's like the oldest ruin bar in budapest i don't even know what a ruin bar is to be honest but like it sounds fun so we're going and then maybe to a cocktail bar get some food Mm. Our first place we've come to is this like street food place next to the Rome Bowl. I'm liking the whole light saying the drinks. <laughs> it's mm. It just doesn't taste like a mojito. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> next stop is the Rome Bar. Look, here it is. Here it is. This is so cool. Next is a fruit cake, and it's just like really fruity and nice. We're now in this like Hawaiian cocktail bar and it is so cool. Look at the glasses. They came like this with like dry ice. There's still some. Morning. Last night was actually so much fun. It was really weird though, because the first night we were here, it seemed like everything was shut. Like when you walk down the streets, it's all silent and everywhere looks really dark. But it turns out everything is just like tucked behind. You open a door and then have to walk in or underground. And that's where everything happens. It's a bit bizarre. But anyway, today we've actually got quite a fun day planned. We saw these e-scooters yesterday. Once you like sit down on and like around the city. So we're gonna do that. And then go for brunch. We found this really nice brunch place when it looks nice. So we're gonna go there and test it out. I also really wanna go to a thermal bath. I found out they had them here and the idea of swimming in this like freezing country in November I don't know why, it's really cool to me, so I'm hoping we're going to find one. Yeah. Oh my god, the tram tracks, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, here to show you all the sights, you know, this is the Danube. Danube. <laughs> <laughs> Danube. What's up, YouTube? Back again with another vlog, you already know what it is. Look on the road, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're on our way to the baths now and I don't actually know how I'm going to be able to float after that brunch that my tummy is really really what's it called going through the motions right now <laughs> ah, wish me luck oh my god it's hot oh my god it's really hot look there's a lazy river over there this is so cool into the river we go Oh my god, no! <laughs> no, I'm drowning! <laughs> 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 okay, we need to get out! How do we get out? 
Oh, that was so much fun. So much fun. We've literally just got out and it's pitch black. So we were like swimming in the dark. And one of the pools I didn't actually show you was 38 degrees. It was literally like lying in a boiling hot bath. It was so nice. We're flying back tomorrow. I'm actually really sad about it. This holiday has been so much fun. If you're thinking of going on like an impulse holiday, I really would recommend going to Budapest actually because I don't know, it's just very different to anywhere I've ever been before. Our flight is disgusting me early tomorrow morning, so we're not really doing that much tonight. We went to spa after dinner and bought these cine mini churros. Like, how good do these sound? Because we were so upset that we couldn't go back to that cereal cafe. So we're just gonna have them, watch film, and then probably go to bed. But it's been so much fun. Anyway, I need to go because Michael's waiting for me to watch his film and I really wanna have them. But I'll see you soon.